The automotive industry just changed forever. We finally discovered a revolutionary new liquid nitrogen engine that will destroy all EVs and bring car prices down by 50%. Forget overpriced EVs that give you range anxiety. This new technology will allow you to drive your car without ever charging it. The liquid nitrogen engine by Toyota will make $15,000 cars with 800 miles range a reality. When is it going to come out? How exactly does this engine work? And is the end near for EVs? In this video, I'll tell you about the biggest automotive discovery in history and how this could change your life forever. So get this, the future is finally here, and it's not electric. Imagine a car that runs on, wait for it, liquid nitrogen. Yes, you heard me right. We're not talking about some sci-fi movie stuff. This is real-life tech that's been under the radar, but is now starting to get the hype it deserves. And trust me, you'll be as excited about it as I am. Let's start with the basics. The world's been in a bit of a pickle with global warming, and a big part of that mess comes from cars chugging along on fossil fuels. Not only do they cough up a bunch of nasty gases, but they're also running out of the fuel. Enter liquid nitrogen, a superhero in the world of alternative fuels stepping in to save the day. This isn't just any fuel, it's cryogenic. That means it's super cold, like 196 degrees Celsius cold. But why does that matter? Well, when liquid nitrogen gets warmed up a bit, it turns from a lazy liquid into a gas that expands like crazy. We're talking a 1 to 694 expansion rate. This expansion can power an engine to run a car without causing any of the environmental drama that fossil fuels do. The only thing this car exhausts is nitrogen gas, which is basically like letting out a harmless sigh. Toyota has been quietly working on a project that's about to redefine what we think is possible with cars. They're calling it the Toyota Frostfire, a vehicle that's as cool as the name suggests, powered by none other than liquid nitrogen. The Frostfire isn't just any car. It's a glimpse into the future of transportation, combining sleek design with groundbreaking technology. The heart of this beast is its revolutionary liquid nitrogen propulsion system, dubbed the Zero-E Cryodrive. The Zero-E Cryodrive is capable of producing up to 500 horsepower thanks to its highly efficient liquid nitrogen expansion process. This allows the Frostfire to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds, rivaling some of the fastest sports cars on the market today, all without a single drop of gas. But Toyota didn't stop there. The Frostfire is equipped with a state-of-the-art thermal management system that recycles heat generated during the expansion process, boosting the engine's efficiency to levels thought previously unattainable. This means the Frostfire can travel up to 800 miles on a single tank of liquid nitrogen, setting a new standard for range in the zero emission vehicle category. Now you might be wondering, how does this magical stuff power a car? It's thanks to some brilliant minds who thought, hey, why not use the same kind of engine that rockets us into space but make it run on liquid nitrogen? So they designed this special engine that uses the massive puff-up action of a warming liquid nitrogen to push the pistons and get the wheels rolling. And the coolest part? Pun intended. The only byproduct is nitrogen, which is pretty much most of the air we breathe. But here's where it gets even more interesting. The setup for this liquid nitrogen-powered car is something straight out of a futuristic lab. The nitrogen is stored in this super-insulated tank called a Dewar flask to keep it from turning into gas too soon. Then, when it's go time, the liquid nitrogen gets pumped through a cryopump, yes, that's a real thing, and warms up just enough to gasify and power the engine. It's like a steam engine, but instead of steam, it uses nitrogen gas. Now you might be thinking, this sounds cool and all, but what about the prototypes? Has anyone actually made this work? The answer is a resounding yes. Back in the 90s, universities in the US and even one in Ukraine built actual cars that ran on liquid nitrogen. They weren't exactly speed demons, and they looked more like science projects on wheels, but they worked. Now, nearly two decades later, the Japanese are giving it a go. Toyota and Nissan have been working on their own prototypes for their racing cars. But let me tell you how liquid nitrogen vehicles are better than gas cars and EVs. Unlike gas guzzlers and their eco-friendly cousins, the electric vehicles, these nitrogen-powered wonders are looking to shake things up with their zero-emission credits. Now let's get into the juicy details. For starters, they're like the ninjas of the vehicle world, silent, efficient, and practically invisible to the environment. They tap into the electrical grid to get their energy, just like EVs, but without the long charging times or the hefty battery packs that weigh down our electric cousins. And when it comes to maintenance, LNVs are as low-key as they come. No oil changes, no spark plug replacements, it's just a cool, clean ride. Now picture this. Instead of waiting hours for your car to charge, you could fill up your LNV in the same time it takes to fill up a tank of gas. 
And when it's time to say goodbye to your trusty ride, there's no need to fret about polluting the planet with battery waste. Liquid nitrogen tanks can be recycled or disposed with much less environmental impact. Plus, these vehicles don't suffer from the battery degradation that plagues EVs, meaning they keep performing at their peak for much longer. But wait, there's a catch, isn't there always? LNVs sound like the heroes we've been waiting for, but they come with their own set of challenges. The biggest hurdle? The energy it takes to turn nitrogen from its liquid form. It's like trying to put a genie back in its bottle. It requires a ton of energy, and much of it's lost in the process. This inefficiency is the Achilles heel of LNVs, making them less energy efficient than we'd like. And then there's the issue of getting your hands on liquid nitrogen. Unlike gasoline or even electric charging stations, you can't just pull up to your local refuel spot and top off your tank. Sure, liquid nitrogen is pretty common in industrial settings, but it's not yet ready for prime time in the consumer market. But these issues have all been fixed by Toyota, and now the car industry is going to change forever. Let's talk about cash and safety, because what good is a car if it costs a fortune and is a danger on wheels? Here's where it gets even better. Liquid nitrogen could be way cheaper than gasoline and even electric cars. It's made from the air we breathe, for crying out loud. Plus, it's safe. There's no explosion risk like with gas tanks, and if there's a spill, it just evaporates into the air. No harm, no foul. But wait, there's more because liquid nitrogen cars don't need heavy batteries or complicated emission control gadgets. They could be lighter, simpler, and cheaper to make and run. We're talking about a revolution in how cars are built and powered. Imagine filling up your car with a substance that's cleaner, safer, and possibly cheaper than anything we've used before. That's the promise of liquid nitrogen. Now, I know what you're thinking. If this is so amazing, why isn't everyone driving a liquid nitrogen car right now? Well, it's complicated. There's a lot of money and infrastructure tied up in traditional and electric cars. But the tide is turning. With climate change breathing down our necks, we're all looking for cleaner, smarter ways to get around. Liquid nitrogen cars could be a big piece of that puzzle. In the 1990s, some smart folks at the universities in Washington also gave this a shot. The University of Washington's car was called the LN2000, and it was a bit of a celebrity in the science world. It could zip around, but only as fast as a bicycle, not a race car. Still, it was proof that you could actually use liquid nitrogen to power a vehicle. Then there's the University of North Texas, where another team was working on the same kind of thing. They were all about showing that liquid nitrogen could be a cool alternative to gasoline. Now that Toyota has finally done the unthinkable, the future's surely going to have more options than just overpriced EVs. This groundbreaking technology, while still in its early stages, promises a future where our cars, buses, and maybe even trucks glide silently through the streets, leaving nothing but harmless nitrogen in their wake. It challenges us to rethink what's possible in the quest for zero emission transportation. As this innovative idea continues to develop, it could change the way we drive, the way we think about fuel, and our impact on the planet forever. So here's the big question for you. If liquid nitrogen vehicles, LNVs, hit the market, would you buy one? Let me know down in the comments below. I just uploaded a video about groundbreaking news that could hurt the entire EV industry. Do check it out if you want to be truly shocked by what's about to happen with EVs.